Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. Today's a bit of a weird one, we've been having to rely on Leicester getting a result against Sheffield United, that has gone down the drain, Leicester are currently and are about to win 5-0. Listen, Chelsea, next weekend we play Sheffield United in the FA Cup quarterfinals, yeah, if we don't give them an absolute pasting and we don't assure our place is already there in the semi-final and we somehow make it hard for ourselves, I swear you're going to have a raft that is going to come back to bite you, not just for myself, but for many people that are going to be absolutely disgruntled as to how we are allowing a team like Sheffield United in the turmoil that they're in to have a chance against us. There is absolutely no way we should not at least be scoring three against Sheffield United next weekend. But anyway, I'll mention what needs to be done in the preview before that game actually goes down. For today, though, we've still got to look forward to Tottenham and Arsenal, the North London derby can't believe I'm saying this we need Arsenal to get a result so I guess come on Arsenal oh, that, it, that sounds wrong even just saying it it sounds wrong Anyway, before we get into today's nitty gritty, I want to ask you guys if you are new, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Let's get into today's nitty gritty, and it involves a certain Christian Pulisic. There's been question marks over his future. There's been skepticism as to whether he is going to leave in the summer. Is he happy? Is he unhappy? Is he in Tuchel's plans? Well, today we have some news. Let's get right into it. Here it is. From The Athletic, Chelsea consider Christian Pulisic a key member of their squad. Even if opportunities remain limited in the weeks and months ahead, a scenario Thomas Tuchel does not envisage, there would be no appetite on Chelsea's part to move Christian Pulisic on in the summer. Now this is something that I guess maybe some of you might think, well, you know, it's all nice and well that Chelsea don't want to get rid of him, but what if he wants to go? Well, again, look, you can only control what you can control. If Chelsea don't want to let him go, that's good. If Thomas Tuchel does not want to let him go, that's good. Now, whatever he wants, it's up to him. If he is happy with that and he's cool and he's going to be playing a bit more regularly and he's going to be playing the way he should be up to the standard that we know he can play at and he's totally cool with that, then everyone's a winner. If it comes to it in the summer where he wants to go and that's just him and no one's going to tell him otherwise, well, what can we do? Good luck to him, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you have to accept that maybe others are going to think differently compared to you and not everyone is going to have the same mindset, not everyone is going to have the same aim or the same goal or the same vision as to what to expect. So we can only control what we can control. I hope he wants to stay. I think he wants to stay. I've got absolute confidence that under Thomas Tuchel, we will be seeing more of Christian Pulisic, like we did yesterday. Not his best game against Leeds. I think we can all admit that. But we know what Christian Pulisic can do. We saw the impact he had, for example, after Project Restart, when the Premier League came back. And he was lighting up the place left, right and centre. We know what Christian Pulisic can produce. It's just whether he is happy to keep that going. And if he's convinced that he belongs at Chelsea under Thomas Tuchel. Hopefully he does, and I don't see a reason why he wouldn't, especially with how long he's been at Chelsea now, the lads around him, and how well he gets along with everyone, um, how well he's been playing in a Chelsea shirt. It's not like he's, he's new here. He's not new here. He knows exactly what's required. We know the talent he has. He's worked under Tuchel before. Tuchel is someone that is adapting very well, very, very well, I might add. And I just believe, like this says from The Athletic, that Chelsea wants to keep him. Thomas Tuchel wants to keep him. There's no reason why he doesn't want to stay. So we'll see what happens coming into the summer. As I've predicted, the weeks and months coming ahead, at least up until May. So from now up until May, the end of the season, I think every player who is fit is going to be playing their part. At least, maybe some more than others, I think we can agree. But I think the whole squad is going to have to be utilised to try and get the best out of every single game. Premier League, FA Cup, Champions League. We are still on three fronts, remember this. And the latest game coming up now on Wednesday against Atletico Madrid, where I know we haven't been happy at the fact we haven't been scoring goals, but... I don't mind not scoring against Atletico as long as we get another nil-nil. I would take that against Atletico, but that's it. That's the only one I would accept a nil-nil. In other games, we need to start scoring. And Christian Pulisic is no different from the rest. When I look at our forward attackers and our forward men, where they need to start scoring more goals. It's as simple as that. We need to try and get 
a team going that is going to start scoring goals as well as defend very well. It's our last remaining piece of the puzzle. We get this piece in, the puzzle is complete. We need to score goals now. If we can do that, we will be unstoppable. So Christian Pulisic, I hope, is going to be a big part of that. And fingers crossed, we will see what happens going into the summer when the window opens and we'll start obviously updating you more in terms of what the latest is, what the news is, what is going on. We'll see what happens when the time comes. But for now, Christian Pulisic, I hope he sticks around. In other news, I have to mention this because sometimes we talk about negative things, yeah? It's only right that we talk about positive things. And I think it's nice to be able to focus more on the positive things and take the negative things with a pinch of salt because you have to accept realism sometimes needs to come into play. And even if it's something you don't want to hear, if that is the truth, sometimes it needs to be said. So we take that with a pinch of salt. But when it's positive and we know that this is legit, this is happening, it needs to be given praise. So I want to give a certain amount of praise to a one and only Money Mace, Mason Mount. This is the latest when it comes to Mason Mount. He, Mason, saw players coming in as a big challenge. Chelsea were bringing quality into the club and he's desperate to win things. He looked at that as a good thing. He said, they won't take my place, I'll raise my game. That quote came from Tony Mount, who is Mason Mount's father. Tony Mount, Mason Mount's dad, spoke to the Daily Star, or at least I think the Daily Star took quotes of his, but he spoke to the press, he spoke to the media, and outlined exactly what Mason Mount's thinking was when he heard of Kai Havertz coming to Chelsea, Ziyech coming to Chelsea. Players that we know are going to interfere with the role that he plays at Chelsea Football Club. And hearing this, it just makes me smile. It makes me smile because you can see this lad isn't just all talk. You can tell. And that was what I think many thought of him. Even I had doubts at the very beginning about Mason Mount, you know. Has he just got a good mentality? Is he not good enough on the pitch, but he's just someone that, you know, thinks right? Well, now we know. He's good on the pitch. He's good off the pitch. He can speak right. He thinks right. He does everything right. And I think we have to admit that now, regardless of where you stand on the issue, Mason Mount's mentality is absolutely elite and I think others can take example from him. He is someone that saw the players coming in and didn't see it as a threat. He didn't see it as, oh my god, they're coming in, they're going to take my place. No, he relished it. He saw them coming in and as quoted by his dad, he looked at it and went, you know what, they're not going to take my place, but even so, for the sake of the club and for the sake of our team, this is a great addition and I'm going to enjoy this. That is the mentality. And that is such a good mentality to have. And I can't stress it enough. That is the mentality that will take you to the top. Many know about their mentality, but there's many that don't apply it to themselves. There's many that don't strive for greatness. There's many that don't try to push themselves to the next level. They know how they can push themselves to the next level, but they choose not to. Whether it's because they want to procrastinate, whether it's because they're lazy, whether it's because they don't have the belief, they don't think they can do it that is a big stumbling block Mason Mount you can tell is someone that believes in himself knows his potential has a positive mindset relishes the challenge and doesn't see anything around him as a threat instead he tries to see it as an advantage and a way to try and push himself and elevate himself even further even more so that is brilliant if you think like that consistently, on a consistent basis, day by day, and it's part of your everyday life, you will reach the top. And Mason Mount, as much as he's been proving it on the pitch, alongside that, having a mentality as good and as elite as this is going to take him to the very top. So I honestly, hearing that, gives me so much hope and promise in Mason Mount and the fact that he believes in himself and he's proven it on the pitch that I can't wait to see what he's going to do in two or three years time. What player is Mason Mount going to be in 2024? I mean, my goodness, I can't wait to see it. Him thinking like this, I cannot wait to see it. And long may it continue. There are things he has to improve. There is one element to his game that I already know he needs to improve, and that is his final pass. I think we can all agree that final through ball, that deadly pass that's going to cut in between defenders and get a runner onto it to have the perfect weight to make that final call and that final decision if he's not going to shoot, that 
is one thing that he needs to improve on. If he can nail that, I really think he has the potential to be the complete midfielder. But it's nice to know that he believes he can, regardless of anyone coming in or anyone coming to take his place. He's gone, look, no one's taking my place. I'm going to make sure of it. But I'm going to make sure that these new teammates of mine are going to benefit not just myself, but the club. And I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. I, I don't want to say this too harshly. I want to say this lightly. But Tammy Abraham, take note. Take note. And I don't doubt Tammy Abraham's mentality as a whole, but I doubt an element of it. And I think an element of it is something like this, where he's not taking himself to that extra mile, that, you know what, I'm going to power through this regardless. He's looking at himself and he's thinking, I want playing time. It doesn't look like I'm going to get it here as much as I want it. I might have it somewhere else. And that is something, that's the difference. That, compared to Mason Mount, who's gone... They're, they're taking my place. No, 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 no. They're not taking my place. I'm staying here and I'm going to keep my place. And these new teammates, I'm going to see as an advantage to the team and to myself. Two different mentalities. And I think, yeah, Tammy, respectfully, could take a little direction from Mason Mount in terms of how to remain at an, at an elite mentality. But there we are. That's today's video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Christian Pulisic and the fact that Chelsea want him to stay. Tuchel wants him to stay. Is he going to stay? Should he stay? Let me know. I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Let me know about Mason Mount and his elite mentality. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think of Mason Mount, regardless of where you stand on him as a player. But in terms of his mentality and him coming out saying that, what do you think? Let me know. I would love to hear it in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you did enjoy this video. Thank you all so much. I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. And then on Tuesday, it's the preview to Chelsea versus Atletico Madrid. I can't wait for this one. I'm already buzzing for it because this is going to be the biggest game of our season so far. So bring it on. I think we need to turn the corner from yesterday's shocking nil-nil result. Uh, well, dire nil-nil result, might I add. Let's just leave that in the past now. We look forward Wednesday. Let's get a job done and bring the mood right back up to where it was because... We can do it. We knock Atletico out. That would be huge. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you all so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Have a good one. Take care and peace.